Um, we're going to start right out with John. John, you're with the Forgiveness Center, and what I is am. that? Well, it's a it's a spiritually psychologically based uh, counseling center where uh, we work with people to help them find a place to uh, heal uh, traumatic events that might have happened to them in their lifetimes, and in that process of healing, free them from the constraints of what that event might have been, so that they can have a future that's free of the past. What do you find that people are unable to forgive? <laughs> well, it's interesting. It could be a small slight. It could be a small be... thing. It could be something big. Like the, the, the statistics said, you know, 94% of people think that forgiveness is a great thing to do. But only 45% of those have been able to find a way to even consider doing it. To shut it. To, yeah, to show to it. To get it off your... Yeah, there's a lot of misconceptions about what forgiveness is and what it isn't. And that in and of itself prevents people from even utilizing this as, as a way to, to live a happier life. And then your workshop that's coming up is yeah. going to be at the Albany Yacht Club, yeah. right? Uh, what's the date of that? Uh, it's going to be the Saturday, uh, okay. November 3rd. Okay, yeah. November 3rd. Yeah. Who, is, uh, who should go to that? Well, I think anybody who's really curious about living a happier, uh, healthier, uh, enriching life. You know, you don't have to be a person who's had horrible things happen to them or have significant grudges. I mean, we all do. We all have resentments, you know. Who, who doesn't in our life? So this is an opportunity for people to come and say, God, if I learned something about this, I could actually live a happier life. I can contribute something different to the world in which I live in if I were to embrace this idea of forgiveness as seeing it as something vibrant, healthier, uh, enriching, and, and um, able to affect the communities in which I live in a very different way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's amazing how much uh, space that we give to people who we dislike or something has given us oh, yeah. an injury, that we give them that space in our mind, our hearts, our bodies. Yeah. If we can just shake that, just think how, I mean, that's got to be well, a gift. You know, that's the uh, interesting thing that you just, you just said. Uh, it's a gift, and that so much is what forgiveness is. The beauty of it, at least that I've found over the 30 years, is that it's not something that I do. It's something that is given to me. Forgiveness is a, a vibrant, living, active force that if I say yes to it, it just... It comes to me in, in, in the worst moments of my uh, places where I'm stuck. It, 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 it stabilizes the ship. You know, it stabilizes me. It soothes the very cells of my being. So that once I'm, I'm stabilized again, once I'm, I'm able to hold steady in terms of what have happened to me, I'm then able to kind of give expression to what's happened to me. And in that process of giving expression, it gets released from the cells, my mind, my heart. And then I'm able to kind of see myself or the situation differently. And I don't have to do it. It's a gift. I just have to say yes to it, and it comes you have to, to embrace me. embrace it. Absolutely. Oh, I was going to ask you a question. Is it important to tell someone that I forgive you? Or is this something you just kind of keep to yourself? That's a, it's a good question. And if it says, I forgive you, now it depends how it's said. You know, like if a person says, I forgive you from a self-righteous position, yeah, yeah. not a great thing. No. You know, but in, in the normal process of... Well, I don't, have, I don't mean to say, yeah. I forgive you, but right. there might be another way of expressing that. Another way of that. expressing that, that is a wonderful thing to do because I was a recipient of that. And, to have someone say that in their own words to you, it removes all the shame, all the guilt that, that I had about mm -hmm. that situation, which then frees me to take more responsibility for my actions without all the shame that's associated with it. And then from there, I'm able to kind of rectify mis my mistake and move yeah, forward yeah. and be freed from my own self-imposed judgment. I think for me, it's usually I just say, let's just move on. Let's get beyond this and go on. Yeah, yeah. Because you, sometimes you just have to move on. You can't, you're stuck undone if you don't. I yes. mean, and think what that does to the other person because maybe the other person did something that wasn't, you know, they didn't think that it was really a great thing that they did. Now they're feeling bad about it. And yes. now you're, so it kind of like, it's this kind of energy that is, it kind of is a vortex. It doesn't 
It doesn't move anywhere. Yeah. And the important yeah. thing is to, to be able to provide an opportunity where it can move so that we're clear of that. Because if we're not clear of that, then we just reproduce it over and over and over and exactly. over again with other people. Our hearts get closed, our minds get closed. We anticipate the same problem coming up again. And then in that whole process of anticipating the same thing coming up again, we unconsciously create the we very thing we don't yeah. want to have happen again. So forgiveness is really a release. Very much so. Of a release. Okay, what so. would someone take away from the workshop? Well, I think they would take away a number of different things. Number one, they would get a good understanding of why it is so difficult to forgive. Because it is difficult. It's not easy. So we I have can to never forgive you for what you never, did. Never, ever, never, never ever, do that. Ever. I'm holding on to this. And, you know, we have to understand why that is so important. Yeah. Instead of judging the person for not being able to forgive, we're going to get a good understanding of why it is difficult. And people make mistakes. Every moment. You know, you know, they every make a mistake. Moment. They really didn't mean to do that. They did it. Now they don't know what to do to make it up to you. And then you're not forgiving that. I mean, it's sort of like a bad situation. It's, it's a bad situation and you want to make it better. So they're going to learn. This is the context of, of the world in which we live. This is why it's difficult. All right. Once we understand that, then we can understand okay, if, uh, now that I know it's difficult, then how can I begin to look at the situation differently? How can I begin to understand forgiveness in a different way? And then understand the power of our thoughts. Because more and more research now is coming out about the power of our thoughts and how it affects other people. Yeah. And if I'm not consciously aware of what I'm thinking, then I can have a whole negative impact on my people around me without even knowing that. Our thoughts don't remain within the construct no. of our physical... I wish they did. Yeah, we all <laughs> want to keep those secrets. So they're going to learn the significance of, of our thoughts and how your thoughts can begin to free you. They're going to have an opportunity to experience the unbelievable compassion that goes beyond our ability to understand when we are so broken, how compassion comes into play to stabilize our being. They're going to have an opportunity to feel that, to know that to give expression to it in their own way and then have an opportunity to, to experience its release and then see the situation differently than what they did before the show started. If you'd started. like to learn more about the Forgiveness um, per, uh, workshop, uh, you can go to his website at theforgivenesscenter.org, I believe it is. Yep. Uh, check it out and it's November the 4th at the Albany Yacht Club. Uh, check it out. You might really find that this is going to give you a big release. Right? Well, Thank you. Good. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Thank you, John. Always good to see it. you. Thanks.